Hello, everyone, and thanks for tuning in to Snow Globe Rescue today. I'm Tony. Uh, usually my wife, Allie, is with me, but today is a special episode. Uh, if uh, you're new to the channel, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully you'll uh, consider subscribing and watching some of our other stuff. Um, so today we are going to do a uh, kind of a basic uh, soldering demo or tutorial here. Uh, every once in a while, we have to unsolder some wires from uh, from these uh, snow globes, usually they're attaching a battery compartment to their lights uh, in the base, or in this case, a light in the uh, inside the globe itself. Um, sometimes, if you uh, if you're careful, you can work around it. You know, have this off. But if uh, if you really want to, you know, take it apart and uh, have this out of your way, it's best to, to disconnect the wires. However, the uh, wires aren't connected with connectors; they're soldered in, so it's kind of a solid connection. And if you don't know how to solder, you might be tempted to uh, cut the wire and then just maybe splice it together, which works. But if you have some soldering skills, you can uh, do a much cleaner job. So we're gonna go through that here in just a minute. Uh, so uh, we did some soldering in episode 15, uh, which was uh, the big brown bag. And we uh, removed the wires that went from the, uh, from the cover to the uh, lights in the base. Uh, and we had several people contact us and want to know if we could do a demo on how to solder. So that's what this is all about here today. Uh, and this is going to be a simple demo. Uh, I've been soldering for years. Uh, I learned how to solder when I was in the military. They put me through a, uh, in tech school, they put me through a one week soldering class. Uh, I'm not going to say I'm the best solderer. Uh, anybody watching this who knows how to solder might have a few opinions on, on how to do it. And uh, I'm sure there's different ways of doing it, but uh, I'm going to show you what works for me and uh, it's fairly simple, anybody can do it. Uh, so let's start with what we're gonna use here. Uh, over here on the right, we have a soldering iron, and we'll get into all of this in a second. A uh, damp sponge or a damp rag, a solder, uh, in this case, rosin core solder, a solder wick. This is optional, but this is a good thing to have. And a couple of tools here to cut wire or, and also to uh, grab the wire and uh, either install it or pull it off. You don't wanna use your bare fingers. Uh, so, uh, soldering irons. Uh, this is your basic soldering iron right here. Uh, you've probably seen the ones that look like a gun. You pull the trigger and it heats up. Uh, that's really too much for this. Uh, that's for like uh, heavier gauge solder, like bigger jobs. For something like this with these smaller gauge wires, this is all you need right here. This is a, uh, some people call this a soldering pencil. Uh, it's just a basic soldering iron. There's no buttons or switches. You plug it in, the light comes on, it heats up and it stays hot the whole time. Uh, they come with a little stand sometimes so you can uh, set it down and uh, not burn anything. Okay, the uh, wet sponge or wet rag, uh, damp I should say, uh, is for cleaning the tip of the uh, soldering iron. It's wet because uh, that way the soldering iron won't uh, burn or melt the, uh, the uh, sponge. Uh, the next thing we need is solder. So, Solder is metal, obviously. Uh, it's a, a combination of a nickel and tin, and it has a low melting point. So I'm not sure what the temperature is of this soldering iron, but it's plenty enough to melt this solder and uh, liquefy it. Now, uh, solder comes in different forms. Uh, this is a 32, uh, 32 uh, looks like hundredths of an inch diameter, a uh, 32 tenths of an inch. Uh, light duty and it's rosin core. Now, uh, the rosin core solder is probably your best choice uh, because there is solder that is not rosin core, it's just the metal. And then you have to buy the, the rosin or the uh, flux. Some people call it rosin, some people call it flux. Uh, flux is like a paste or a liquid that you put on the metal and it prepares the metal for the solder so it sticks. Uh, you put that on first, then you apply the heat, the heat activates it, and then you add the solder. Well, uh, rosin core solder, and I have no idea how they do it, but this little wire of solder here is hollow. It's a hollow tube inside of there. And in the center, you can't even see it hardly, there is a little string of uh, rosin or flux going through the middle of it. So when you apply this and you heat it up, you're doing the, the, uh, the rosin and the, the solder at the same time, so it's more convenient. Uh, this is soldering, uh, desoldering braid. 
Uh, some people call this solder wick. This is a copper braided wire that's impregnated with rosin or flux. And what this does is when you heat this up and put it against solder, this absorbs the solder and removes it from the work area where you are. So you can just remove any solder from where you're working. And then, you know, a wire cutter and a uh, pair of needle nose pliers to help you out. All right, so um, the first thing we're gonna do is clean off this tip right here. The tip will get kind of, uh, you know, dingy. Uh, there's something called dross. Dross, uh, when you melt solder, it's the impurities. They come up as this, uh, this stuff up here. So you take the uh, soldering iron and you just wipe it across the wet or damp sponge or rag and you see how it brightened it up a little bit. It's all silver now, okay? So, uh, step one here, we're gonna take this, this figurine here, oh, excuse me, this uh, cover, and as you can see, the wire is soldered here. And this is not the best solder job here because they have a bunch of bare wire here, but uh, they had a drop of solder here holding it in. We can, so now we can do uh, one of two things here. So the first thing we're gonna do, and whenever you solder, after you clean your soldering iron, you put a drop of solder on the iron. Just melt it right there on the iron. That's known as a heat bridge. That's gonna allow the heat from the soldering iron to transfer over here to the uh, solder and heat it up. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna remove this wire I'm gonna take that solder bridge, or excuse me, that heat bridge that I just put on the soldering iron, and I'm gonna to touch it to the solder that is on this connection right here. And as soon as I do that, it melts, and off comes the, uh, the wire. It's that easy, okay? Uh, to, now let me see, does this have a hole in the middle of it, or is this just a solid piece of, sometimes this have a hole? Okay, this does not have a hole, so this is a kind of an unusual connector. So uh, since there's no hole in it, this is just connected to the surface here. So now to reconnect this, I'll use, let's start again. After you disconnect it, we'll use another heat bridge here. Then what we'll do is we'll just heat up that solder. As you can see it melt. You attach the wire there. Make sure the wire's in the solder. Remove the soldering iron, hold it there for about two or three seconds. Let it go. The solder cools and it's a solid connection again. Okay, the other option, we'll clean off this uh, the soldering iron. The other option is to use the solder wick. And you can use this before or after. Uh, it works pretty well. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna get a, another heat bridge on our soldering iron. And you wanna use a soldering wick or the uh, desoldering braid if you have like an excess amount of uh, solder, or there's a lot of solder, you want to see what you're working with, you want to get the solder out of the way, this is how you do it. Uh, you get that heat bridge there, you put this wick on top of the solder that you want to remove, then you put the heat bridge on the other side. When that heats up, it heats up the, the, the solder wick, the solder wick then absorbs the uh, solder that's there. Sometimes you got to do it two or three times to get all of the solder, especially if there's a bunch of it there, but eventually the solder wick will absorb all of it and uh, almost got it all here, see? There we go. Okay, so all the solder's gone. Now, I'll go ahead and reattach it. Let me clean off the tip here. And what I can do now, since I removed all of that solder, I can touch this heat bridge to this connector, add some solder there, then I can take the wire, put the solder, put the wire between the solder and the iron, press it down, let it go, wait a couple of seconds, attached. All right, it's that simple. Now, if you're gonna use some new wire, and I'll just go ahead and add this in there in case you need to replace some wire, uh, I'll give you one more tip here. And this is called tinning the wire. So this is for wire that hasn't been soldered before. You don't have it, uh, hasn't been disconnected or, or whatever. All of these strands of wire uh, should be together. It's easier to work with and it'll be better that way. So what you do is when you have your bare wire here, you 
twist it so that it's all together. Okay. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to have a helping hand here with this uh, with this vise here. Okay. We're going to take that wire. And as I said, this is called tinning. This is tinning the wire. This is preparing the wire to be soldered. Because right now there is no solder on that wire. So it'll be more difficult to attach this way. But if you tin it first, it'll be much easier. So to tin, what we do is we put another heat bridge on our soldering iron. Okay. Then we touch the wire with the heat bridge up here not down here because if we put it down here, it could melt the insulation on the wire. So we start at the top here and we get a piece of solder here to get. And you'll see as we apply solder, it will melt into the wires. And I will work our way down until we get to here. And there we go. Now, if you can see a proper tinning job will fill the wire with solder all the wires will be uh, attached to each other, like one solid wire, but you will be able to see the strands of wire under the solder. That's when you have enough, but not too much. So um, then this wire right here is now ready to, and if I wanted to, I could just go ahead and take this right here and I can just add this wire right to here. Just heat it up, add it there, let it cool. There we go. That quick, that easy. So um, that's it. A uh, few simple, a uh, few simple tools, uh, and it's not that easy. Just remember, clean the tip off on the damp sponge. Use a heat bridge to transfer the heat from the soldering iron to the piece you're working on, and then you can either just solder and unsolder what's there, or use the wick to remove it and put new solder. Either way, and also. As you use this solder wick, the part that's absorbed all the uh, solder, just clip it off for fresh wick. And if any of you are guessing how long I've had this, <laughs> I just realized I bought this at Radio Shack. Uh, been a long time since I've seen a Radio Shack. That's how long I've had this stuff. But um, you, can you can find this at any hardware store uh, online. Uh, rosin core solder, solder braid. Uh, so. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments and uh, hopefully this video was helpful. You enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, if you like this, uh, like I said, give us a comment, uh, uh, a like, uh, uh, subscribe. And uh, we have some links coming up to some of our other videos. So thanks very much for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye.